Well, hello there. Welcome back to Jazzy V's Gospel Mix. We're very happy to have you with us. We're going to have a wonderful time. We've got some great guests coming forth, and they're just going to bless you with what God has given them. We've got Praise Dancer. We've got a, um, a gospel rapper, and we've got a young man that's going to play the keyboard, and then we've got a young lady, two young ladies that are going to sing for us today. And who knows, I might get half and want to sing a song myself. You never know. All right. So anyway, we're going to get the show started. Now, first of all, you know, I have to always give you some good news. Oh, my goodness. And I've really got some good news today. Okay. And now we're going to Ezekiel 36 and 26. And it says, wow. And I will give you a new heart with new and right desires. That's wonderful. And I will put a new spirit in you. I will take out your stony, stubborn heart and give you a tender, responsive heart. Now, do you all know what that's really saying? If you've been just sort of stubborn and feeling mean and evil towards people, looking at them like they're just, you know, beneath you, God will change your heart. All you have to do is ask him, and he will come in and just smooth out all those wrinkles. He will take, oh, my goodness, all that pain away. He will take out all the bad things that you've been feeling. And I mean, I'm getting so excited just talking about it. God will smooth you out. He will just give you newness. You will be a new creature in Christ because of what he can do for you. He will just make you so smooth when things start hitting you in the face. You won't even feel it because he's got you shield. God can do that for you. Let's go to him and be sincere and ask him to come into our hearts to mellow out all that old wrinkled up stuff and just let us smooth. Just sell on by, baby. Sell on by. He can do that, but in a spiritual way, okay? I just wanted to share that with you today of just getting rid of the, getting rid of the stony Hearten hearts and let the Lord come in and, and give you a new heart. He can do that. Would you like a new heart today? And when he give you a new heart, all the desires that you wanted, the good desires. Now, don't be desiring somebody's husband, okay? But be a good thing. He will give it to you. I'm a living witness. All right, now you take care, and I'll talk to you again later. Bye, this is Jasmine. Well, hello there. Welcome back. And we and I'll special guess your name? Christ Clear. Christ clear. I like that. Christ clear. Yes, ma'am. Now, come on, baby. You got to tell me. How did you come up with that now? How did God give you that now? Well, actually, um, the first name that God gave me, I was actually a youth, basically a youth pastor okay. of a church in New Orleans in the Lord Ninth Ward. And I had came up with a name for the youth ministry, but the mm -hmm. church didn't kind of go with it. Okay. They decided to go with something else. Okay. And so um, once I came to Houston, Texas after Hurricane Katrina, Ah. I used that name to go by my stage name, which was Rage, which meant rooted and grounded eternally. But about, I want to say about three years ago, I spent three days with Juanita Bynum in Atlanta. Ah. I was flown to Atlanta and spent three days with her. And she asked me, we sat down, we had a one-on-one -on -one conversation privately, and she said, um, why do you go by that name? She said, do you understand the power of what you're allowing people to speak into your life? And even though... It was an acronym. She said, if they're not calling you rooted and grounded eternally, they're speaking rage into your life. Then she had me to survey my life. She said, now look at what's going on. Is rage in your life? And I had to be honest, yes, it is. It's coming from so many different angles because I had thousands of people wow. calling me by that name. And so she gave me this little journal that she had personalized and she signed it. She wrote a little note to me and she said, um, name change, you know, clear. And she was like, smile, you know, just... <laughs> You know, and then she really liked my music and everything. And it took a year for me to make that change because I kept saying, well, God, everybody know me as Rage. Right. And he said, the problem is everybody know you. They uh, need to know me. Me. I like that. And when that happened, I said, you know what? That's it. You know, my name is Christine. It mm -hmm. means anointed follower of Christ. Mm -hmm. And when people hear my ministry, when they hear my testimony, when I go forth, it is Christ clear. And Christ I was and what the things that are in me that are not yet worked out, I pray that as people speak Christ clear into me, that's mm -hmm. who I become. Amen. So, you know, that's that's how that name comes. You know, it's, it's <laughs> I'm not trying to be holy, but I realize mm -hmm. the power in what we allow people to call us. Right. 
Now that tells us right there, Katrina brought some good things to you. See yeah. that? <laughs> Katrina had to go down and make you come up out of Egypt, yeah. so to speak. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> and that's exactly what I say. Uh-huh. That's exactly how I tell people. Um, and he had told me before to come to Houston. Mm. I was supposed to go to uh, TSU. Uh. I had been recruited, was looking into wow. their law program and everything. And I, w- I didn't want to leave my family. And so God made it to where my family came with me. <laughs> so I my mom, my sister, my brother, you know, my nephews, Wonderful. everybody's here with me. So what type of, are you uh, considered as a gospel rapper? Yeah, I mean, th- that's the title they like to give me, but I just like minister. Okay. I think sometimes people get confused with what I do because of that label. Uh-huh. And they kind of want to use you as a, a living, breathing, live radio. Right. And I'm not. I'm a minister of the gospel, and I take what I do for God very serious. Very serious. I'm completely, completing my associates. Um, right now, at the end of May, I'll be done with my associates in theology. Um, I'm attending Pentafaith. So, um, you know, I take this very serious, and I take very God's serious. children very serious. So what uh, do you see in the future? Say five years from now, where do you see yourself? Oh, man. <laughs> Probably by then, me and my husband, we done started a church. Very good. I already know um, that's where it's heading. Um, he, he's had that call on his life since he was 13. Wow. So, um, rapping, I, I don't know. I, <laughs> I'm getting more invites to speak now, so good. praise God. And maybe you'll be able to help other young people that want to get into that yeah. area, you know, because God can use anybody. All you have to do is open your mouth up, be willing to allow him to flow through. Yes. So, I mean, you know, we have to get the attention of the young people. And I found out that gospel rap is a way to do it. Yes, yes. It really is. It's just, my it's just whatever God wants you to use. Yeah, it's just my bait. That's how I really meant. <laughs> you know, they consider me old school. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. But we've got older people out there that can accept my type of music. Right, you know. right. So it just depends on... Where God want you to go and who he want you to touch. Amen. So, a gospel rap, I love it. Uh, my son was a rapper on the other side. Okay. And he's here with us today. And now he's on this side. And All that's right. a wonderful thing. And I, I just thank God for that. Amen. And I want to con- uh, encourage you to continue. I will. To can you, just continue to do God's will. I will. I will. Just I, continue to do it. Don't have no choice in the matter. <laughs> <laughs> because when he opened the doors up for you, just walk through. You know, yes, ma'am. but since you're young, you can run through. <laughs> <laughs> I have to put my foot out there and just walk on. The Amen. Other side. <laughs> now, I'm but learning he's some, making a way. I'm learning some doors I don't. I don't want to run through. Well, yeah. and walk through, <laughs> skip through. Some things are all right to turn down because right. I want what God has for me. Amen. 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 And you can't give anybody the glory, but him. no, exactly. Yeah. See, so as long as you keep your mind like that, you're gonna be just fine. Yes, ma'am. Now I'm anxious to hear you, so uh, we're gonna cut off right now and let you listen to this young lady bring us a wonderful message. All right. Swag. <laughs> Swag. You better listen to what I speak. I'm speaking of 
about my Jesus and his souls we gon' reach Focused on the call, focused on the kingdom Not stacking chips so folks can see me blinging It's not what you thought, I know what you heard Not just the zeal but according to his word I'm feeling the fire rocking the show And we be handling this bill to act like you know When I preach to the lost to reach all them souls Then when it's over, guess what Jehovah gets the glory Sanctified worship all ain't got God, I got God, I got Said I'm a sanctified worship all ain't got God, I got swag Sanctified worship all ain't got God, I got God, I got Said I'm a sanctified worship all ain't got God, I got swag I said I got swag, I said I got swag Now if you got it, won't you wave your hand with me I said I got swag, I said I got swag And if you want it, won't you rock, rock, rock me I said I got swag, I said I got swag And if you bounce, won't you bounce, bounce with me I said I got swag, I said I got swag Come on, sing the fight, worship up I know you feel that Now wave your hands with me Now rock, rock, rock with me Now bounce, bounce, now bounce with me I said I got swag Worship all ain't got God, I got God, I got Said I'm a sanctified worship all ain't got God, I got sway uh-huh. uh. Well, 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 we are back And we're bringing back another one of our great singers here in Houston, Texas <laughs> And your name? Agnes Balka Agnes Balka Amen. Praise the Lord. <laughs> We've had Miss Agnes before, and she sung I Won't Complain, and oh mm -hmm. my goodness. She sung that song. Thank you. Praise Thank the Lord. You. Praise so you're going to um, uh, grace us with something else today, huh? That's the plan. That's the plan. Let God have his way. Amen. So how long have you been singing? Woo, since birth. <laughs> <laughs> I know that feeling. I know that feeling. I know that feeling. I'm raised in a family full of singers, so when we really? were little, they made us a family group. Wow. So, <laughs> yes. Yeah, so Do you all ever get together and sing sometimes? Mm, not anymore. Really? Not anymore. We kind of went our separate ways as okay. we grew up. You know, we had a, a group at one point in time. Oh. Uh, we were called Reverend Jano King and the New Voices of Praise. Wow. We were together like 13 years, and then we fell off. Everybody yeah. went their own direction. I understand. I understand. So are you a musician or just oh. a singer? I heard through the grapevine that you know how to hit a key every now and then. And you're used to. You just Ooh. don't. <laughs> she's laughing. She I, was she a key. I was a kid. You know, when you're a preacher's daughter, they make oh, you be okay. everything. I was a <laughs> pianist. I was a choir director. And everything you can really? do in church, I was even an usher, so I've done oh. it all, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. That's really wonderful. And um, what are you working on now, some of the projects you plan on? Oh, wow. Uh, well, I have uh, quite a few plays in the, in the oh, works right now. Oh, so you're an actress, too. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, ah. Next week, to be exact, March the 23rd, mm -hmm. we'll be doing For, Be For Better or Worse uh, by James Hudson for the second really? time. It's free admission. At South Park Baptist work. Church. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. um, on April the 27th, I'm doing Broken in Waco, Texas. Oh. And uh, May 4th, Overdose. Overdose? Mm-hmm. I've been doing oh. that one for the past three years. It's wonderful. Mm -hmm. We've got a real star with us today. And I thought <laughs> I thought I was a deep girl. You better. Oh, no, you a diva, man. <laughs> you a diva. <laughs> <laughs> but this is wonderful. Wow. I'm going to have to come and support you. Please. It's on the plays that you're in because I love plays. I really do. So nice. And I used to be in them a lot, but I've kind of... Retired. Yet. No, you can retire. <laughs> you the diva now. You, you, you don't yes. need anybody else. Now you know we're kidding in Christ, yeah, all right? Okay. <laughs> Divas in Christ. Divas Amen. In Christ, Amen. Yeah. Amen. Praise the Lord.
Jordan Faith Outreach. Jordan Name. Faith Outreach. Yes. I've heard you guys before and you do an awesome job. So Thank tell you. us a little bit about you uh, and your name, sir. My name is Conway Shepard. Okay. I'm David Bro. And I know you minister uh, Drake Williams, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, so how long have you all been together? It's been about uh, 11 years. 11 years all together. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And tell us a little bit about your ministry. Do you go into the different prisons or the jails and everything? Yes, um, we started in street ministry oh, okay. on the street corners of uh, North Main Equipment, matter of fact, and uh, we did that for a number of years, and the Lord opened up another door for us into our uh, prison ministry. Okay. So we do two uh, prison ministries. Uh, oh, really? One two? In, yes. Mm -hmm. Atasca City and the other one in the Peden Building downtown. Okay, very yes. good. So, uh, how long have you been playing here? Are you a pianist? Or? I play guitar. I've been playing guitar uh, probably about 28, 29 years. Wow. I mean, I'm not a master, but I can hold my own. I have fun, and, it, and it's for his glory. <laughs> uh, played Very bass on a worship team for over 10 years cool. earlier. and uh, But I just love giving the talent back to God. Great, great. And you, sir? Uh, I play bass. That's my major instrument. Okay. I play guitar. play a little bit of keyboards. About... 40 years or so on Wonderful. That. And I've heard you guys sing. And this, uh, we're going to be blessed today, y'all. Uh, and Minister Drake, I heard you play the keyboard and the drums. Yes, ma'am. Yes. At the same time. <laughs> he probably did it. <laughs> At the same time, huh? Yes. I, I, Wonderful. I, I, Wonderful. I'm looking forward to hearing you all. And, and I've heard you before. And uh, so I'm just going to like move out of the way so you all can bless us, all right? Thank, All right. you. thank okay, you. Thank you. Oh, thank you for having us. I'm oh, very happy to have you guys with us today. Okay.
Well, I prayed and he answered. I prayed and he saw me through. I prayed and he answered me. My back was against the wall and on his name I called. He came to my rescue and I give him all the glory as I pray. upside down and he turned it all around he gave me the victory and i'm here to tell the story as i prayed and he answered i prayed and he saw me through i prayed and he answered me he said it was too late but i just get the faith i could not see my way but he made a way Is 
About the way I love you I feel a change I'm feeling sometimes I'm all alone And I don't know who to call When I pick up the phone Cause can't nobody see the hurt That I'm feeling When I see my sister Not getting the life She's supposed to be living I wanna see her standing up tall And will my auntie be healed By the power of the blood I don't know what to do about it I'm praying and so when I'm sacrificing I'm preaching and touching Everybody else's life But Lord I need I need you here tonight, Lord. I need, I need you here tonight. I need you, Lord. Oh, Lord, won't you lend me your ear? I pray to God that I'm coming through loud and clear. Cause see, this here is my prayer for my fam and my friends to be set free in Jesus' name. Oh, Lord, now won't you lend me your ear? I pray to God that I'm coming through loud and clear. Cause see, this here is my prayer for my fam and my friends. Cross, just watching the seasons, Father. I'm learning that this life ain't that easy. I just want to do what's oh so pleasing, and I don't want to be like them lukewarm people. I don't want to be a backslider living my life on the edge, heading to that fire. Now, I'm a ride for you, I'm a rider for Christ, and my life is on that cross. I gave up my life, and I'm taking it over. We Showing them strangers, showing them that their eternal life is in danger. I can't complain how you're making me, how you're molding me, how you're shaping me, how you're taking over me. But I got a few questions, got a, I got a few cares, I got a few prayers, I shed a few tears, got a few hurts, I got a few issues, got a few nephews. Lord, I need your help because I want to see them living like a Hallelujah. I'm going to hit you back. But help me, Lord. Please, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I ask you to do Wow. Take over, Paul. Okay, I'm ready now. You ready? Did Spirit hit you? Yeah. He touched you. I'm serious. Y'all playing, but he did. All right. That's what I want.